Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In September, I hosted a roundtable in my constituency talking with parents who are concerned about bus scheduling and bell time changes in Calgary. The Education Ministry promised to follow up on a number of issues. We have not received the answers that were promised at the roundtable. These parents went out of their way to give their advice and ask questions of the Ministry and trusted the Ministry's word when they said they would hear back from them in a timely fashion. To the Minister of Education, where are the answers to their questions and why is it taking so long to address their concerns? Great question. General Minister of Education. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and certainly uh, from uh, September, we've been working closely with the Calgary Board of Education. Um, I have them under a operational review where we were looking at um, generally uh, their expenses, but also specifically in regards to transportation. And so, you know, we have made some uh, advances, certainly, um, in regards to the congregated stops with them and uh, putting more yellow buses on the road as well. Uh, we will continue to work uh, closely with the uh, new, uh, some of the new trustees and so forth in the Calgary Board of Education, and I'd be happy to follow up on the information that uh, the Honourable Member is specifically asking about. First supplemental. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, it's clear that the new busing system isn't working for kids or for parents. Both the CBE and the Minister of Education need to take responsibility for the untenable situation that's been created and start over. We haven't heard anything since the preliminary audit information released on September 14th, which needs to be complete in order to provide some answers to parents who are concerned over the chaos caused by busing and staggered bell times in Calgary. Why haven't we seen this report, and does the Education Minister plan to release more information anytime soon? Good question. Final Minister of Education. Um, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and certainly we, it's very important that we work with the Calgary Board of Education closely. We have been doing so, and certainly the operational review will continue on throughout this year so that we are looking for ways not just to build a better uh, transportation system, but for looking at other, other operational um, um, issues. Uh, the Calgary Board of Education is our largest school board in the province and uh, certainly does a great job in education, uh, educating our kids, but um, you know, there's always room for improvement, and so I'm looking forward to working with uh, some of the new uh, board members and so forth to uh, make improvements and to ensure that kids are safe and getting the best education they can. Thank you, Second Supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Bill 1 had some serious unintended consequences and the responsibility must be shared between both the Ministry and the CBE. Earlier this fall, the Alberta Party asked the Minister to reset, complete the Ministry audit and try again next year. On September 14th, when the preliminary audit results were released, the minister said he hoped the CBE would have concrete solutions by Thanksgiving. Once more, for the Minister of Education, has the CBE submitted solutions, and when can parents expect a resolution to these disruptive changes? That was taking so long. Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, Bill 1, the Act to Reduce School Fees, did just that, more than $54 million going back into families' pockets. We're very proud of that. It's an act to reduce school fees, to make life more affordable for Alberta's uh, uh, families, and certainly it, it had uh, the two different things between um, transportation and so forth and other decisions that the Calgary Board of Education made uh, was separated from what we did in Bill 1, which was very, very successful. And again, we work closely in collaboration with the Calgary Board of Education, and the number one thing that we did, Mr. Speaker, is to make sure we put money in for funding. If you take away 20 percent from education, all bets are off. Thank you. Very much. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker.